welcome to my channel. My name is Shawnee and we are Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome. I hope everyone is having a fantastic day. Today we'll be participating in the Dollar Tree DIY Challenge. It's hosted by my friend Ellie of DIY from House to Home. And today I'm participating with two other talented talented crafters kiki of kiki diys and also elizabeth from rustic chick designs guys check out the playlist it's going to be amazing we're going to be making everything with dollar tree products cannot wait for this without further ado let's get crafting DIY number one. I picked up this heart sign at the Dollar Tree and I'm going to remove the tag. I'm going to remove the galvanized metal and the bow. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut that right off. I'm not a big fan of their burlap bows. I do use them in some projects. I have this piece of vinyl that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. It's the Dollar Tree vinyl. I'm going to peel it and I'm going to place it over our heart. Okay, guys. I'm going to be using my technique again. I want to go ahead and even though this is vinyl, I'm going to run this really lightly over my heart to adhere the backing of the vinyl to the board of the heart. This really gets the adhesive on the vinyl warm and as it cools it will adhere to the back of our piece better, or to the front of our piece better, excuse me. And there we go, guys. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. I've taken a nail file and I've simply went around this in a downward motion and removed the excess. And on this heart, I can still see the lines. So I'm going to trace the lines of the heart. Okay, and now that we have our lines drawn on our heart, we're going to go ahead and we're going to replace the galvanized heart right in the center, just like so. I want to center this as good as I possibly can. I'm just going to take some hot glue. I'm even using the Dollar Tree hot glue sticks today. We're going to go ahead. We're going to place this right in the center of our heart. And now we're going to take a piece of the yarn that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. We're going to make just a simple shoestring bow. The yarn is in the color tweed and we're going to place this bow right over this hole that is in our galvanized sign. Just right over it guys, just like that. Just want to cover up that hole. adorable. I'm going to go to the back of the sign 
place my jute twine just like so. I want to bring this around and I'm going to wrap this around a couple of times or to your liking. However, I'm going to do it a couple of times just like so. Turn it around. Again, make sure it's nice and taut, good and tight. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to place it right at the top, just like so. Now what we're going to do is I have these mini roses from the Dollar Tree. And a couple of pieces of the Valentine tree. I'm going to run a bead of hot glue up. Just like that. And we're going to place this right here. Just like so on both sides. And with our foam roses, we're going to use three of them today. These are the mini foam roses from the Dollar Tree. We're going to put one on each end and one in the center. I think this turned out absolutely adorable, guys. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put the hanger back on. We'll come right back with our final reveal. And here it is, guys. I think this little heart sign turned out absolutely gorgeous. I am so pleased with the way this turned out. On to DIY number two. And for DIY number two, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to jump on the book stack train this year. Now, I purchased this at the Dollar Tree yesterday, actually, because I thought it was cute. But I'm going to go ahead. They have so much hot glue here. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use my heat gun to remove this bow. And what I'm going to do with our book stack box today, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and I have this Nimbus chalk paint by Waverly and I also have the ballet slipper. I'm going to mix the two paints together. A little bit of the Nimbus, a little bit of the ballet slipper, just to give it that pink touch. Go ahead and I want to paint my entire box. This is going to take two coats, guys, because of the dark color, and I'm applying the light chalk paint color. This covers very well, but I want to go ahead and make sure that we have full coverage on our box. And I want to thank Ellie for hosting this awesome collaboration today, and I will have Ellie, Kiki, and Elizabeth channel links in my description box below. Guys, check them out. They're amazing. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to let this first coat dry. This coat of paint dry. We're going to apply our second coat and we'll be right back. Now we have our boxes painted. Now guys, I've taken a number two lead pencil. Now this pencil I purchased at a dollar store, not the Dollar Tree, but at a dollar store in a neighboring town and this is the absolute best pencil I've ever used. I actually bought two of them. I'm so glad I did. There you go. We're going to go ahead and we're going to do that to differentiate the books. Now, I have some lace just at the Dollar Tree Craft or Square, but we're not going to use this just yet. I want to go ahead and I want to put 
my lettering on here first. Now, I'm just simply going to put these little stickers on and get these at the Dollar Tree as well. Go right here. Love it. Love is you. So cool. Okay, guys, now what we're going to do is I have these little flowers that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. They're the little puppy sticker flowers. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to place them like so at the top of our book stack. I think I'm going to go over a little bit like so. Okay. I think these are gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. Here. And one over here. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and let me see our lace. Go ahead and open our lace here. Up. and we're going to run our lace right down the side okay I want to cut this off flush just right across like so I'm going to put a little bit of a dab of hot glue right here just a wee bit put our lace in place hey pull it and didn't know it there you go Okay, now we're going to run our lace down, and I'm going to tack it, guys. No, I'm not. We're going to run our lace down, under, and we're going to come up to the other side. I'm going to go ahead and measure it here so I can cut it off properly. Put right there, straight across just like so and we're going to repeat what we did on the front side we're going to lift our little flower here try not to damage it lift our little flower here put just a dab of hot glue bring our lace up and tuck it under there we go just like so beautiful now we're not finished with it yet we're going to go ahead I want to try this guys. I might not use this and then again, I might. I want to place, nope, that's too much. We're going to put one of the pearl daisies, just one of the little pearl daisies here. Cut it out. So one of the little pearl daisies, we're going to take this and we're going to place it right in the center of these flowers, just like so. And there we have it, guys. I think this is beautiful. It's simple. So, so pretty. Now I have these bird stencils. They look so much like doves, but there's a variety of birds that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead, guys, and I'm going to sort through the one I want to stencil on to our book right here. And I do believe... God, that sounds pretty, too. I do believe this is the one, guys, right in the center there. I'm going to stencil this on to our book. The color Salmon by Ceramicote. I absolutely love this paint. 
So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dip it in with a sponge brush. Now guys, you know you rarely see me using a sponge brush, but for this project I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use this sponge brush. And I want to put this right in the center, just like so. I'm just going to gently go around the bird, bringing it up as I go. Up, up, and up. There we go. Beautiful. And I see two spots. Can you see those spots, guys? And I'll show you right what we're going to do with those as well. And I had two little spots where I had went out of the lines on my stencil. So I simply placed two of these little jewels stickers right beside there. With the exception of the paint, our entire book stack was made with items from the Dollar Tree. Okay, guys, I'll be right back with the final reveal. And there's our completed book stack, guys. I think this turned out absolutely beautiful. There it is. I love this piece. Super happy with the way it turned out. Okay, and on to our third and final DIY. And for our third and final DIY, guys, I'm literally going to take this little bag that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three. Love these little bags. I've used them for a few things. But today we're going to do something a bit different with them. I'm going to literally cut across right here. And I'm doing it with the striped bag on purpose. So what I'm going to do next is I'm taking a Dollar Tree mop that I've obviously used a lot. Pull these out like so, just like this. Okay. I'm going to cut these in half. They don't have to be even, but get them as even as you can, I guess. Just like so, guys. And we're going to cut all of these in half. And on our bag, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to follow a line of glue, just like so. I'm going to place this piece of Dollar Tree mop right like that. We're going to go side by side down the entire strip. Just like this. All the way down the entire strip. It has taken 16 strips of the mop to go across the bottom of our bag piece. We're going to set this aside. I have this pair of socks that I purchased at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and the stuffing will not be from the Dollar Tree. It is from Walmart from a pillow. What we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut off hmm, maybe down to two of the stripes of the sack. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fill it with our stuffing. Now guys, if you have a pillow laying around, you could use a pillow for this. You could use, oh goodness, pieces of material, anything like that. I was trying to think if I've ever seen anything stuffed at the Dollar Tree besides their version of gnomes. Okay, so we're going to go ahead just like this. All right, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take a bit of the yarn. And this is the tweed colored yarn from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to go ahead and I'm tighten this. This is a quick and easy little gnome, guys, made with 
all Dollar Tree products. That's my goal today. Now the only thing I haven't used thus far in our DIYs is I did stuff this with the Walmart pillow. Now to get this guy to stand up what we're going to do is we're going to use one of the hearts from the Dollar Tree and we're going to go ahead and we're just going to glue him right on here. If you want to use a fabric fusion guys you can also do that for time purposes today. I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to slap this puppy right on here with hot glue. I'm going to clip him off at the top here. You don't have to do that. I think it makes him not as bulky. All right, so let's bring our beard back. And I want to bring it up as high as possible, actually. There. We're obviously going to trim some of this off, guys, but I want his shoes to show, so we're going to trim a good amount off. Okay, I'm going to go about right here with this. I'm going to trim across the entire beard, just like so. Perfect. Love it. There we go. Now we're going to take and we're going to glue our beard on, just using some hot glue. Again, the hot glue is also from the Dollar Tree. Place it wherever you want it to be, guys. Right there. As long as those little shoes show, we're good. There we go. Press. Okay. For our hat, we're going to make a long hat. We're going to go ahead and we're going to cut this down to the top of the unicorn, just like so. Now guys, I like to use the top of the sock where the elastic is for my hats. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to put this right on him, just like so. He's already looking adorable, just like that. Okay, now for the hat, I'm going to go ahead I'm going to put a piece of the yarn, again, around the top of his hat. You want to make sure your back is good and straight, just like so. It's awesome. This is cute as ever, guys. Tie right around, just like this. And now for the all-important nose. Nose, I'm taking one of the little apples that I purchased from Crafter, from Dollar Tree, from Crafter Square section. It's one of the little wooden apples. And I wanted to make sure I used all Dollar Tree products. So I'm going to pull his hat up a little bit, guys. I'm going to take the hot glue and I'm going to simply flood it with some hot glue there on the apple stem. Gonna stick it right in there just like so. It's a little flat on the end, but it'll work. All right, that's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and put this little hat back on here, put it down, bring it up here a little bit. There we go, just like so. Guys, I'm not liking that. I'm going to switch it. I'm going to try to get this off here. Oops. <laughs> I just pulled the mop. Uh-oh. We'll fix it. All right, guys. I'm going to try to get the stem off, and we'll be right back. Stem off. And we're going to go ahead and run this sideways. It just looked funny with that flat tip, guys. I did not care for that at all. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run this just like so right in there. Much better, I do believe. All right, 
much better. All right, then we have one final little thing we're gonna do here. Perfect. I love this. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dab a little bit of hot glue right here, guys, so his hat will stick. I don't want his hat popping back up there. There we go. Just like so. We're going to embellish this a little bit. I'll be right back. And I also wanted to mention for the top of his hat, I simply took my scissors and I cut down each strip to make the curly cues on top. And for the embellishment, what we're going to do, guys, is I have these rings that I purchased at the Dollar Tree a while back, these heart rings, and I clipped off the sides, and I'm literally just going to glue it on to our little hat. Quick and easy. Slant that a little bit. And we'll be right back with our final look of the day. I think they turned out absolutely beautiful. I'm so pleased with them. And if you like what you've seen today, go ahead and give me a great big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell next to your subscription. And you'll be notified each time I upload new video. I can also be found on Instagram and Facebook at Glitzy Stitches Home DIY. Have a blessed day, everyone. Bye.